everybody welcome to another yarn scrap friday and the halloween theme is continuing this week where i'm going to do this over two videos we're going to be making a little pumpkin and we're going to be making a little ghost and this is to make into some bunting so and in this second video i think we shall make the ghost <laughs> So to make our ghost, we're going to be using some white yarn, obviously. And again, this is, if you've been making the pumpkin, it's the same weight yarn. It's a DK light worsted weight yarn. That's a yarn weight of three. And you're also going to need two strands of black yarn as well. This is also a DK light worsted weight yarn as well. So just a couple of short lengths of black, which you're going to use for the eyes. And we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the first thing to do is we're going to take our white yarn and we are going to chain seven. To begin, we're going to chain seven. So we're going to do our little slip knot. Like so. And we're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to chain seven. And we're going to do two half double crochets in our second chain from hook. Now we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first chain, our first stitch. There's our second one, that little V shape. And in there, we're going to do two half double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, and this is in US terminology. And we're going to put our hook into that second chain, bring the yarn through, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through all three to do a half double crochet. And we want two of those in the same chain, so we're going to yarn over again and go back into the same chain, same one again, and do another half double crochet. Okay, so you've got two in there. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four, okay, next four chains. So go into the next chain do a half double crochet. I don't normally work with white yarn, it's quite hard to see, so I do apologize. So one half double crochet in the next chain, and one half double crochet in the next chain by itself, and half double crochet in the next chain, and a half double crochet in the next chain. Okay, so one half double crochet in the next four chains. Okay, one, two, three, four. That should leave you with one chain at the end. And in there, we are going to do five half double crochets. Now, when you work into your chains along here, um, it's a good idea just to work under one bit of yarn because we want to work into these chains again. And if you work under one bit of yarn that side, it makes it easier to see the chain again on the other side because we're going to work into them twice. So in this last half double crochet, we're going to do five, uh, in this last chain, we're going to do five half double crochets. So one, then back into the same chain again, two, and back into the same chain again, three. You can see your work starting to turn as you, turning clockwise as you add all these half double crochets at the end. So three, and then back into the same chain again, four, and one more, to the same chain again, five. Okay, so we've got five half double crochets in there. And now we're working back in the opposite direction. We should be facing this direction. And hopefully, because you worked under one bit of yarn this side, it should be fairly easy to see your chains to work into them again. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four. We're going to mirror these this side here. So find your next chain along. Should if you just lift it up a little bit. So there's the last one you worked into. There's the last one. So just over from there, put your hook, you should get the next chain along. And do one half double crochet in there. Okay, then the next one. One half double crochet in there. And if you're new to working into your foundations twice like this, I've done a video in more detail. So I'll put a link in the description to that tutorial. 
it's quite an old one now. So one, two, and then next chain, one half double crochet. Then the next chain, next one along, where's the next one, there it is, one half double crochet, so you've done one half double crochet in the next four, one, two, three, four, and that should leave you with one chain at the end, and in there we are going to do three half double crochets, because we did two here at the beginning, but we need it to match the same as this same, we've got five down here, so which means we need to do three in this last chain so we're going to that last chain and do three half double crochets so one all in the same chain oops two and another one three and you should end up with this sort of oval shape like this okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in our first half double crochet that we did and if you can't see you just might want to pull your stitches down pull your stitches down just so you can make sure you see this half double crochet at the top so we're going to put our hook into that first half double crochet we did bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch to join the round okay, okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one we're not going to count that as a stitch, so just ignore that as a stitch. Then going back into the same half double crochet you just slip stitched into, we're going to do two half double crochets. So go back into that same half double crochet you just slip stitched into and do half double crochet and then go back into the same stitch again to do another one. So you've got two half double crochets in there. We're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch as well. So two in the next stitch, one and two. Okay, two in there. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next five. Okay, in the next five. So go into the next stitch, do a half double crochet, one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three, next stitch four, next stitch five. Okay, so one half double crochet in the next five. Then we are going to do two half double crochets in the next four stitches. Okay, so in the next stitch we do two half double crochets. So we do one and another one in the same stitch, two. So we've got two in there, two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, okay, two in there, then two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, oops, two in there, then two half double crochets in the next stitch as well one and two okay so you've done two half double crochets in the next four stitches and then what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet in the next five same as this side so next stitch one next stitch two next stitch three Next stitch four. So we have next stitch five. So one half double crochet in the next five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and that should leave you with two stitches. And uh, we're going to do two half double crochets in those last two. So next stitch, we do two half double crochets. One and another one in the same stitch, two, okay, so you've got two in there, and that leaves you with one stitch, and we're going to do two half double crochets in there as well, okay, one, and another one in the same stitch, okay, so you've got two 
in there. And it looks like there's another stitch there, but if you're used to my videos, you will know that is what I call a fake stitch. So make sure you don't work into that stitch. Skip that little fake stitch, skip your chain one, and find your first stitch, proper stitch, half double crochet. Put your hook into there. Oops. <laughs> and do a little slip stitch. There we go, to join the round. It should look a little something like that, as if we're starting a shoe. But then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. So we're going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. And we're going to go back into the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So put your hook straight into that same stitch you just slip stitched into and do a little slip stitch. So bring it straight through the loop on your hook. Okay, then we're going to do one slip stitch in the next five stitches. So go into the next stitch and do a slip stitch. One. Next stitch and do a slip stitch. Two. Two. Next stitch, slip stitch. Three. Next stitch, slip stitch. Four. And the next stitch. Five. Okay, so one slip stitch in the next five. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create some little arms. So, well, one arm. <laughs> and we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Chain four. And we're going to do a slip stitch in the second stitch of our hook. So again, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first. There's our second. Put your hook into there. Bring the arm through, then straight through the loop on your hook. Let's do a slip stitch. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the next chain. So one single crochet. And then that should leave you with one chain, and in there we're going to do a half double crochet. Into the last one. Do a half double crochet. Okay, half double crochet. Then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next seven back on this main body. So go straight into the next stitch here. Do a slip stitch. That's one. Then next stitch. Two. Next stitch three. Next stitch four. stitch five, next stitch six, and the next stitch seven. Okay, so one slip stitch in the next seven. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. So the next stitch we do one single crochet. Then the next stitch we're going to do one half double crochet, half double crochet in there. Okay. Then in the next stitch we're going to do three double crochets, three double crochets in the next stitch. So we do one, then go back into the same same stitch, two, and back into the same stitch again, three. So we've got three double crochets in there. Okay, one, two, three. And then we are going to chain four. It's working on the tail now. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Is it a tail? I don't know, this bit at the bottom. <laughs> chain four, and then in the second stitch from hook, so don't count the loop on your hook. One, Two, in that second one, we're going to do a slip stitch. Okay, let's do a slip stitch in there. Then the next chain, we're going to do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. And then, do a half double crochet in there. Then what we're going to do is find the last double crochet of these three. So there's your last double crochet. And we're going to work into that stitch basically. We're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over 
and literally putting your hook through the middle of this double crochet as neatly as you can because there's not a proper stitch there so you're just going to have to push your hook through as neatly as you can sort of that'll do it's literally just going through the middle of that double crochet I'm going to do a double crochet like so. So it's literally just going through the centre of that double crochet. Then what we're going to do, back on the main body, we're going to skip the next stitch, just skip one, then in the next stitch, so skip one and go into the next stitch and do a slip stitch. Okay, you can see you've created your little tail. I'm going to do a slip stitch in the next three, so next stitch, do a slip stitch, one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, and then we've got to create our other arms, it's the same as this side, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, do a slip stitch in your second stitch and hook, so one, two, do a little slip stitch, it's always quite fiddly, there we go, then a single crochet in the next chain and then a half double crochet in that last chain uh, try and get it in there there we go half double crochet in there okay and then we should just do a slip stitch in the remaining, should have five stitches left, one, two, three, four, five, so go straight into the next stitch, we don't skip any, do a slip stitch, and we'll just slip stitch into the end, you should have five, so one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, and the last one, Five. Okay, like so. And there's our little fake stitch there, so don't let that trick you. Just above there's our little chain one, and then you should find your first slip stitch, and we're going to slip stitch into our slip stitch as neatly as you can. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay. like so and there we go there is our finished almost finished ghost what we need to do though is we need to create a little loop on the top so we're going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 this is only if you're making the bunting 10 and we're going to slip stitch into that same slip stitch again the one we just slip stitched into a little slip stitching going on here so go back into that same slip stitch that you just slip stitched into and do a slip stitch. <laughs> there we go. And we can cut our yarn and just pull the tail end through. And then we just need to neaten off our tail end. So I'm going to sew back through that slip stitch again to get my tail into the back, turn it over, then just sew through a little bit of stitching as neatly as you can in one direction and then go back in the opposite direction. Oops, sorry, not the camera. And then just trim the excess off. And we can trim this one down as well. Okay, there we go. And all's left to do now is to add some eyes. So this bottom hole here, because we worked the five double crochets, ends up being quite big, so it ends up looking like a little mouth. We're going to create a little couple of eyes though, just up here and here. And to do that, we bring in our two short lengths of black yarn. And we're going to tie a knot into the center of our black yarn. So we're not, and we're going to do that again do another knot and make it land on top of the other one then do one more so we do three knots all on top of each other and they all need to land on top of each other and you get like this little 
knot in the middle, big knot. And we're going to take one end of our black yarn and finding these two little holes here be good good spaces for eyes we're just going to sew not right through the middle but just slightly to one side one end of our black and then do the same for the other but again just do it the other side just slightly over of the hole it just helps catch it and then the little knot three knots catch on the outside then we just turn it over tie a couple of knots to hold that in place and then trim the excess down like so then just repeat that for the other side so I'm just going to repeat that for the other side and I'll come back and show you the finished ghost and there we go just repeated that for the other side so we've got two little eyes and there could be his little mouth but you could always sew on a little smile or face whatever you fancy a little sort of circle of black or you stick on some felt it's entirely up to you and if you haven't seen my tutorial for the pumpkin to go with this bunting then you can check out that video the links in the description below and over this video um, you can find out how to make a little pumpkin as well which also worked really well as a little apple as well <laughs> so there we go and i've repeated that lots and lots of times i've lots of goes lots of pumpkins and i'm going to crochet these all together to make some bunting so i shall do a little separate video because i haven't finished making enough of these yet do a little quick separate video just to show you how i join them together as well so uh, watch out for that and uh, otherwise i will see you soon some more crochet fun happy halloween bye <laughs> Thank you.